what up? It's Dougie back here for part three. Check it out behind me. You can see a lot of crap in my studio down here and it sucks. And so one of the things that I've also invested in, this is for my photo booth. I've got these photo clips here. These are about $3 on Amazon. So we're going to get to those in just a second. And then we got the limo studio backdrop. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up and I'll show you exactly what this is used for. Um, get my table set up. And so what we're going to be doing with the studio now is we're going to be setting up that green screen, right? Well, maybe not so much. So let me just show you what it is we're taking a look at here. So that way you don't have to see as much background crap every time you punch in for one of my videos. Maybe we'll start looking a little bit more professional. Start getting those bigger views that we wanted. And so in our limo studio here, we've got two tripods. And so you set up your tripods. Just like you would normally set up any other tripods. Can you still see me over there? And I don't know. Nope, not really. So let's go ahead and take that back and then get our other tripod out. Now again, these tripods very similar to the B Free stands, is that we are now um, using three telescopers on these. And they have a screw at the top, so let's take our screws off the top. And we have in the bag four poles. And so you don't have to use all four. You can have this be as small as four foot, uh, two of these. And so this end here is an A. And so A's go on top of this like this, and then you screw it down. So what we'll do here, and I think we can just get away with six foot in the studio. And so it has a B there. So we'll take the B and stick it together with the A. That's not the right end. That's not the right end. This is, okay. So the small holes go with the small buttons. And so once I get this built, I can go ahead and attach it to the top of the tripod. And then I need my D stand so there's the D everybody loves the D and now we have our tripod stand built and we can now start adding a backdrop to the studio so I have to figure out which way I want to orient this. Uh, right now, whatever, it doesn't matter. I get this DJI, DJI stuff out of the way. But uh, when we're done building it, we can then raise this up. And it's really not hard to do by yourself. You just have to raise up one side and then the other. And that's just kind of the process for that. So you just raise up one side, tighten it down, raise up the other side, tighten it down. And again, this is great for backdrops for photo booths, or if you do any bridal shows or anything like that, you would want to um, You would want to consider using this as a um, as a display for your promotional materials, whatever you have, uh, or if you're doing videography in studio, this could be a great way to throw on some clips. And so this clip comes as a six pack. It's not really a big deal. You just clip right onto the outside of the hole and then you just have to have something to stretch across there which I've got something right here and I might even be too big with this let's see what we've got well that's what happens when you do everything live you know you just screw it up and hope for the best and so that's what I've done here I've definitely screwed this up so this is too long. We definitely don't need to be. Let's go ahead and get rid of that bee pole. And you know, 
and luckily for me, I'm tall enough, and this thing is lightweight enough that I can just move it around with you know one hand. But I certainly would recommend taking it all apart if you don't have as much balance or coordination as I do. You know, have to keep those things in check. But uh, you know, since I'm able to kind of strong arm it, and so there's our. There's our four foot stand. Now this is as small as it can get. So it's not like I'm gonna get any smaller than this. But I can go ahead and clip on my backdrop. Hmm. I made it too tall. some side clips maybe just for fun one last time I need to be the one who takes you home? Yeah, we're gonna get to that, by the way. That's gonna be the whole reason I set up this backdrop. Just so that I can do some hometown prize stuff. All right, we're in. And so that's all you need to do to set up your backdrop. And I'm not gonna get that last clip on there, am I? It's too fat, there we go. And so now <clears throat> my backdrop is all set up. I can go ahead and, ha <laughs> image stabilization, stabilization. You can't even tell that I'm jiggling the camera. Hope not anyway. I don't know how that's looking. And so now the studio is ready to roll with a unprofessional looking, semi-professional looking backdrop. At least it's something where you don't have to see the entire room. And uh, now I can establish better lighting. And, um, you know, it's a little bit big for the camera, but not quite big enough. So, I don't know. I'll be working on it. It's definitely a, the step in the right direction. So here we go. And that'll be our cover photo right there.